Hi everybody, Father Bill Holsinger here, and this is your Friday Reflection. Well, I was gone along with our parish leadership team from Monday through Wednesday. We were in San Antonio. Uh, who is the parish leadership team? We're the PLT, that's myself, Deacon Brett, Dana Morano, our business manager, and Dr. Ann Irwin, who wasn't able to come because of school preparation, and Father Anthony Wong Fan. So, what were we doing? What is it that took us to San Antonio? Well, there was a convention, you might say, or a conference led by Pat Lencioni called the P Amazing Parish Summit. Amazing Parish is a company that has been working for many years now to try to help lift up parishes, to help them have more cohesive organizational structure, to help promote the gospel and be focused about their mission. Because a lot of parishes can be like all over this place, scattered in their attempt to do the mission, and that means that we need to be focused on what that is. And so that was part of it. Also, and my also agenda for us going was to lift us up ourselves. That is the parish leadership team in our faith, or have some zeal about our faith, because sometimes we don't always have it. Sometimes, I know for myself, I can get discouraged and, and not be focused on what I'm doing. And I think it's important that everybody do something like this, whether you consider going like the Religious Ed Congress in Southern California, or go on a retreat, or some other conference that encourages you and lift you, lifts you up, I want to encourage you to do that. So we did that as a leadership team, as a leadership team for our parish. The first speaker was Father Mike Schmitz, and I was really keyed into one thing that he said in his talk, uh, and there were some other things that I heard, but I want to share this one thing, because there's another I'll share in my later part of the video, but it was this idea of our first love. Our first love. Remember, like when you, if maybe you're, you're married, remember when you first met each other and how that was, that that person was on your mind the whole time, that you had this great affection for that person and everything you want to do was for them, or when you were first married. What a wonderful thing that was. Sometimes, uh, I should say, sometimes marriages can go astray where actually that person is not the center, that person, your spouse, is not the one that you are having your uh, service to. Well... This happens also in our faith life. We may be excited about our faith. We may know God when we were younger or maybe whenever that would be. And then as time goes on, we get kind of, well, lukewarm or something else attracts us or distractions. Maybe it's work, maybe worries, who knows, a sickness. Things can distract us from our first love. And what is that first love? As Christians, our first love is God. And God wants us to be his first love. He wants us to be in love with him and that he would be our first love. When we have that in place, everything else starts to fall into place. When we have God at the center, when he is number one, things go well. And even when things are difficult, we have the grace and the strength to walk through it because we're not alone. We can't get it. There's so many things that are beyond our abilities, but with God's grace, all things are possible and we can work when we are weak and we allow God to enter into our lives then we can be strong because of Jesus. So that's an important thing. So might you ask, where are you in your faith? And when you were excited, when you were zealous, when you had a real conversion in your life and we were excited for God, and what's happened since? Where are you now on that spectrum of faith with your God, with our Lord Jesus Christ, who loves us deeply, who suffered for us? You know, I think we all have to admit, myself included, there's times where, well, you know, it's, it's a work. I'm busy. I'm distracted. I'm doing his work. I'm doing what he's calling me to do. But that passion, that first love, has kind of gone lukewarm and not full. This is a chance, if you think about this, for you and for me to really ponder on this question and then do something about it. And that's what an Amazing Parish was for me. That, I hope, was also for our parish leadership team. And I hope that you can find some place, whether it be a retreat, whether it be, again, some experience in your faith that will lift you up, an encounter with Jesus, maybe some time in the Adoration Chapel. Just silence, listening to Him. Just pour His love into your hearts. I don't know. There's so many ways, so many avenues. So the Amazing Parish was an opportunity for renewal and encouragement, but also some training and some really thinking about strategic planning, uh, what our mission is, etc., things like that. In fact, game day, as I've already uh, shared with you in the last episode, is part of that vision where we then come to you as a staff 
trying to help you and walk with you, accompany you in your faith when you're here so that you can go out, right? Remember, no, grow, and go, so that when you go, you've been equipped and encouraged and lifted up. So our staff will be present on the 8th of this coming month, and you'll be able to see them after the, all the Sunday Masses. And then on, uh, or I should say, after the end of the Mass, there's also going to be a team over in one section of the, the narthex, or maybe outside, depending on the situation and the weather, where you can go and uh, get... Uh, some time of prayer with them. Maybe there's some heartache you've got to work through, or maybe there's a, a sickness in your family, or you yourself are struggling because you're about to enter into uh, some medical procedures that scare you, or maybe there's some thing going on in your life that's disturbing you. Uh, maybe a relationship is broken, or uh, there's a death in the family, whatever it might be. Uh, these individuals, and I'll be present as much as I can, are there to pray with you and for you. I'm going to leave you now here, and I'm going to cut over to the, the video, a real quick video I created uh, when I was at the, when we were at the end of the Amazing Summit, Amazing Parish Summit, and you can hear from myself and my team and what it is that they got out of it. God bless you all. Hi, everybody. Father Bill Holtzinger here, and this is your Friday Reflection. And guess who I'm with? And with Deacon Brett, and of course, there's Dana and Father Anthony. And we are in San Antonio, Texas, at the Amazing Parish Summit. And we're at the very tail end of it now, and we're about to, I think we have maybe one more or two more talks, and that's about it. And then we'll head on a, a flight, or a couple flights on the way back. So I thought I'd ask uh, myself and, of course, our uh, team here, what was something, what's one thing we take away? Now, something to be aware of, we're doing this because I feel it's important that as a, a leadership team, we're calling ourselves a PLT, a parish leadership team, that we would have a sense of uh, mission, and coherence and a whole bunch of other things like that, uh, camaraderie, but also that we can ultimately serve you well. And I would start with me then that that's what I'll take away is this experience of coming together, um, being with uh, each other, experiencing these different talks. Uh, one of those uh, talks I found really impressive and helpful was from Father Mike Schmitz. He was one of the keynote speakers at the very beginning and several from uh, Pat Lencioni. Uh, for me, that's encouraging me to make sure that our parish leadership team, the PLT, isn't siloing or we're trying to prevent siloing, which is basically that idea of uh, ministries saying, I'm unto myself and we're not connected with anybody else, but we need to have a whole sense of uh, as a parish family. So I'm going to go around and start with Father Anthony here. Father Anthony, uh, what is uh, something that you are taking away from the parish, uh, amazing parish uh, summit? I really like the talk by Father Mike Smith, uh, the mass, uh, the music, uh, and especially with uh, what the, um, the priest sharing at the, um, uh, at the table. Uh, things that we possibly see that uh, a lot of the parishes are, are encountering or experiencing as well. Really great to hear. I would actually also agree with that. We were at a table where uh, we shared different, let's say, issues, and I'm like, huh. Those are the same issues that I think all parishes have, so don't feel so alone. Awesome. Dana. Hi there. Hi there. <laughs> what was something, what's one thing that you are taking away from being at this amazing parish summit? Well, I really loved hearing about, um, from the other parishes, mm -hmm. just their, their issues that they're going through and how they're dealing, or conducting their PLT meetings and really uh, wanting to share that with the rest of the staff in a you know good way to be collaborative with everybody so it was a good experience and then mass um, the first day moved me to tears so anybody who knows me knows that's a that's a good thing so uh yeah okay great thanks all right and digging bread how are you so i'm going to move over here so we can get some sunlight going this way so what is one thing that you are taking away from the amazing parish summit I would echo what Father Anthony and Dana said. I really uh, enjoy the masses in the morning, especially the uh, the music. I feel like we're kind of on the um, the cusp of a new, I don't know, era in Catholic music. There's been a lot of, uh, uh, it's really interesting, a lot of traditional hymns that have been reset in, in a really attractive and beautiful way. So I'm hoping we can bring some of that back to, to Holy Trinity. That's probably been my favorite thing. Awesome. Well, folks, thank you for uh, your prayers. Those of you who, let's see, let me get y'all in the picture. Thank you for all your prayers for us as we were traveling. Uh, I will be preaching this weekend, so pray for me that I can put together a, a half-baked, or better than that, an amazing, <laughs> amazing parish. Thank you, Dana. We'll catch y'all later. Bye-bye. <laughs> like, what happened? <laughs>